some days I sit in my room unsure of what the days ahead hold for me. It almost seems impossible to continue on. But luckily for me, I have literature to help me through these dark, confusing times. My favorite poem by Shane Kotzkin, titled To This Day, has my all-time favorite quote. If you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Stare a little longer. Look a little closer. Because there's something inside of you that made you keep going, despite everyone who told you to quit. You built a cast around your broken heart and you signed it yourself. You signed it. They were wrong. The pure, raw emotion behind this poem about bullying and battling dark thoughts that eat you up inside is the reason why I am still here. Literature is such a loving thing to get into. And it is so easy to find your place within it. There are so many entrances to the, this brave new world of literature, such as journalism, reading, and listening. My therapist often tells me to write down what I'm feeling at a moment of intense feelings. These feelings can be good, bad, and different. It doesn't matter as long as you express yourself and learn from it. By writing, you can reevaluate what has happened and learn what you would do different in that scenario. Also, by putting your thoughts on paper, you're clearing your mind of it. By making it into something physical you can hold on to rather than mentally holding on to it. It helps so much. And if you just give it a try, you can immediately feel a weight being lifted off your chest. If it works for me, it will definitely work for you. Who knows? It just might help you find out more about yourself and express yourself more fluently to others. I highly encourage you to give it a shot. Along with writing your works, reading others' messages is also empowering. Homage to My Hip, written by Lucille Clifton, is a piece that helps women feel confident with themselves. By describing women and their hips as strong, powerful, and something to be proud of. And if it works for me and so many others, then it will definitely work for you. So many times I find myself reading and growing. That is what a good book and poems do. They help you grow. Philosophy books have been written for ages, as everyone has their own philosophy to life. Diogenes was a Greek philosopher that lived in a barrel. Why, you may ask? Because he considered material objects pointless. They have no value at the end of the day. Diogenes never wrote down his ideas. He simply lived them instead. But others felt that we could learn something from his simpler lifestyle that they wrote it down for him. Material items that we yearn for so badly, badly aren't needed in our day-to-day -day lives. We don't need objects to be happy. Everything we need is right here inside of us. If that doesn't strike you as something profound and eye-opening, that's fine. There's plenty of other books written by philosophers that are accessible to you in libraries. Find one that speaks to you. And you might learn something new to help you hash out and find out who you are. I told you in the beginning that there's literature for everyone. And this includes music for those who are on the go or find it difficult to sit in one spot and read. Music is something that everyone can relate to and easily find a connection to. We feel the meanings in our hearts from our past experiences we have survived from, and with music you don't necessarily need to understand the language to feel the emotion behind it. Mark Anthony, a Spanish singer, writes uplifting songs. My favorite, Vivir Mi Vida, is a song about living life in the moment and living it to its fullest. And trust me, singing in Spanish is so much fun and catchy that you immediately understand the meaning behind it. Another song called Kini Ni Kiro no Kitsu Akuri by Sabo Master is a similar song to One Direction, You Don't Know You Beautiful, but has a unique twist of describing to someone that when they realize how beautiful and loved they are, then the world will be a happier place for it. With millions of songs all accessible to you on the internet, you most certainly will find out more about yourself and express yourself than you ever thought possible. At the end of the day, everyone fits in with literature. 
There's no right or wrong way to express yourself, whether you write a six-page satirical piece aimed at the government, or write an elegant haiku about how much you love mashed potatoes. They are all valid and loved by the people that find them and read them, and they relate, laugh, learn, cry, you name it. We all love to feel something from someone else. It helps us not feel alone. So with that, I really encourage you to get into literature. It is really one button away now with the help of technology. Most poems can be found on YouTube with people putting their own twist into enunciating different words and adding emotion to it than if you were to read it flat. Libraries and digital books are available to you. Music is played everywhere you go, like we're in some sort of Hallmark movie, especially now with Christmas music being played literally everywhere. This literature world is yours, only here to love and support you. Take the dive and sink into a place that feels so familiar that you won't want to leave. And maybe, just maybe, you will learn something new about you.